Good afternoon. Welcome back to Passional World Talk Radio Network, a wholly owned and subsidiary of Global Media Network, LLC. Educate, enlighten, entertain. And today I am going to discuss all things Ruby AI, which is an artificial intelligent program that has everything you've always wanted and one AI program without having your fingers do the walking all over the internet to get things accomplished. I'm going to share my screen with you and show you as an author, whether you're fiction, nonfiction, whether you're into poetry, whether you write short stories, whether you've been asked to write a speech even to explain how you do what you do as an author slash writer to get your material and our content over to your audience. So the first thing I'm going to do is take you over to Ruby AI. And so let me get you over there. All right, wrong place. Excuse me. I know, how embarrassing, right? Well, I do have these moments. Share screen. We're sharing the entire screen. And also the audio. And we're going to share it over to Ruby AI. So this is what the inner workings of Ruby AI is all about. And the other thing you need to understand is that when you're an author, a writer, a poet, writing a speech, whatever information you need to get across to whoever you're addressing, whether it's an agent, a literary agent, or a movie slash film agent, or to a publishing company, whether it's an independent company or self-published company, or you're just doing it yourself totally without going through any type of company, an author, writer always needs a good marketing plan. So what comprises of a marketing plan? Well, Formerly, you would go into Google and say, what makes up a marketing plan for an author slash writer? But the first place we're coming to is IntelliChat. And that is where you ask all your strategic questions about where to go. So the model is whatever you want it to be. So for example, In Ruby, you're given at the start of your journey, free verbiage and words and credits. So with these credits or words, you go into the AI models and there are four free models that you can use where you don't have to use any of your words or any of your credits. So the first free one is GPT-4, free unlimited. The second one is Claude-3 Haiku, free unlimited. The third one is Gemini Pro, free unlimited. And the fourth one is called Cloud Instant. So what you're going to do, I usually like... Claude Haiku, because each model comes in with different keywords that you can use to tell and tell a chat precisely what you need in order to get your questions and your sentences with your keywords and key phrases inserted in them. You need to tell and tell a chat exactly what you have in mind. So we'll go over to Cloud Haiku, which is free unlimited. And then you go into Persona. Persona is 
topics slash categories that you build up. So the first one I have for me is Alexi Digital, which means I use Alexi for asking and answering some of my questions. Empowered Achiever, lest we forget, I do a podcast on that. Marketing Blog, I do a lot of marketing with the podcast. Melody Masters, I create music. Pitching to LinkedIn, I use to, once I identify my audience, I go in and, ident- and, and send out information like marketing, regular marketing for a business, as opposed to marketing for authors, although LinkedIn has a lot of author groups. And then Sophia, the educator, I teach training courses. One of the training courses is the Obstacles of Podcasting. It's a two-month course. It's one hour every day. It's interactive. And you learn how to, from A to Z, uh, putting together a podcast. Plus, you get a certificate and you also have the opportunity to air all three of your podcasts through Passionate Oral Talk Radio Network. All right. So we're going to do marketing blog. And then you get the selective voice educational, empowering, inspirational. Well, you're going to say educational because you're going to be trying to share what you have with whoever you're targeting the marketing plan towards. So they're going to learn something from you. So it's either informative, encouraging, or supportive, and you're going to say informative. And then down below is where you start typing to continue the conversation. So you may say, I am writing or I have written a book on and communication and want to create a marketing plan to pitch to a potential nonfiction publishing company who specializes in communication verbally and visually. And make sure everything is spelled right, uh, please provide in-depth instructions on how to write up the plan and provide examples. Then the little arrow On the upper right side, you click on it, and here comes your marketing plan. Once it gives you the marketing plan, you want to make a copy of it. And you see this X over here? This is where WordPress is located. You click on that. Your history is all the requests you've made previously. Anchoring and prompts we'll get into later. The editor. So you click and paste, and they provide you, until a chat provides you with an outline of what you need to do and create your marketing plan. So let's go over it. They tell you, here's an in-depth guide on how to create a marketing plan for your communication book tailored to the specified audience and voice. So the first thing you need to put in is your executive summary. And that tells them, like a synopsis, what your communication book is all about. And you need to tell it in such a way that you're going to hook your audience, which is the publishing company or the literary agent or 
whoever is going to be reading this an idea of how it's going to be different from all the other communication books that have already been written. So it starts off by saying, begin your marketing plan with concise executive summary. This section should provide an overview of your book, the target audience, and the key strategies you plan to implement. Highlight the unique value proposition of your book and how it aligns with the needs of your target audience. So that gives you three specific details that you need to know, do your research on, and then include it in your marketing plan. But you're saying to yourself, well, I don't know. I have a general idea of what my marketing plan is. So this is where you do your in-depth research. You take the sentence where it says, this section should provide an overview of your book, the target audience, and the key strategies you plan to implement. And you're going to copy it. And you're going to put it back down in your IntelliChat and hit paste and then say, please delve further in how to write up the summary, the, excuse me, unique value proposition of the book, how it addresses my target audience of teachers, educators, speech writers, and students in junior and middle and high school colleges and universities and continuing education classes. And go back up, make sure you have everything that you want to the diaper in and then say, please provide examples and directions. And, and instructions of presenting this material. And then you hit the arrow again. What I do too to separate is to put a little bit of a bar between my answers. So you want to hit the arrow and it generates more information for you. So what does it say? Well, first of all, it says, yes, let's dive further into Crafting the unique value proposition for your communication book, tailored to your target audience of teachers, educators, speech writers, and students. Here's how you can approach this section. And it tells you unique value proposition. 
the unique value proposition of your book should clearly articulate how it addresses the specific needs and pain points of your target audience. Emphasize the key benefits of your book, provides, and how it stands out from other communication resources available in the market. When you do this, you then dive even further and ask for your competitions, books on communication, and the author's name to let the people who you're addressing this marketing plan to, that you have done your homework and that you're not just shooting into the breeze. Or you can go down to your bookstore, Barnes & Noble, for example, and walk into their business section or walk into their communication section, speak to a clerk over there, tell them why you're over there, and they will point you in the right direction. Or you can just do it on Ruby, asking them, can you please tell me which books on communication are the most used by my target group? And please provide the names of their books and the authors and the dates they were released so that I can put all that information, the details and your supporting material all come from within Ruby. So instead of making a trip to Barnes and Noble or going to the library or flipping through online bookstores and asking and doing your research through Google, you just need to ask Ruby to delve deeper into what you need. Now, once you have gone through all the different paragraphs to delve deeper and to keep on redefining what you need so you can bring this information out, then you want to go and to personify. What is Personify? Personify tells you how to identify your target marketing group. It gives you all the information. So for example, I've already have different personas made up before, Empowered Achiever, Sophie, uh, the educator, marketing blog. So since we're doing a marketing blog, we will then go into marketing blog. And these are the different voice profiles you receive. So under voice profiles, educational, empowering, inspirational, demographics, female, 35 years old, urban area, highly educated, income level, upper middle class, communication preference, prefers email, newsletter, and social media, interests and hobbies, interest, self-improvement, personal development, entrepreneuring, hobbies, reading, attending workshops, and practicing yoga, motivation, motivated by the opportunity to expand knowledge and enhance personal development. And you go on and it gives you everything that you need to know in order to be able to target your marketing plan to that one particular person or to just for your own edification that you know precisely how you should craft your book for when you start marketing and selling it to the general public, you'll know how to reach the readers you want to reach. So if you're interested in educators or you're interested in going to people in the commercial world, like businesses or organizations who want their employees to learn how to speak, an author who writes a nonfiction book 
has all this information available to them in one place where you can keep on getting the different information. So for example, creating new persona. You want to create a persona for, describe your persona in detail. Okay, I wrote a book on communication. My target audience is our educators, teachers, professors, business owners, companies, authors, speakers, and any individual who needs a method to communicate with his, with, I should say there, with their audience on any subject matter. And you think, well, that should be, that should be enough. So let's see what they have to say. So you put create persona. They tell you your persona is building. This can take some time. Shortly, you will choose from a selection of personal descriptions and a few minutes away from a powerful tool to create engaging and converting content. So you wait. Sometimes it doesn't take as long as they say, and sometimes it takes a lot longer. So while you're waiting, you can go back and check your notes. I find that every time I go into a telechat, for example, I open up Word, or you can go into Google and use Word document, and I copy and then paste what Ruby AI has provided to me so that I can save the information in Word. The next thing I do is the same thing with Persona. Any work that I do for myself personally, I go over, copy and paste the material into Word so I have it to see when I'm working on it. And I put all my research that way. I wrote three communication books. I was given three weeks for each book and I wrote all three of them within the nine week period. So my communication is still collecting data and I will wait. And a little box came on and said, yes. Now you can also create from text, from the URL or from social. So if you already have a website put up for some of this information, you can put in the URL from your website and it scans your website. Or you can create from Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or TikTok or Reddit, and it will create directly from those places as well. So while it's doing it, usually it provides the information immediately. These are some of the ones that I have already done. Sophie, the educator, gives you an idea, supportable, supportive, encouraging, age range 30 to 45, gender female, education level, and it gives you everything you need to know about your target 
demographics, which are very important to whoever you're trying to send that book to. Because once you put it out on the market, then you are competing with every other Tom, Dick, and Harry. But the idea is that you're able to uh, do your research all in one spot. Not only that, there are different ways to protect your material. And we will go into that the next time. Plus, if you design your own cover, you can go into Canva Plus, where you can design your own images. There's also Virtual Studio, where you can do audio, create your own podcast, and also you can create your own music. And it's all copyright free. If you're interested and want further explanation, please stay tuned for additional hands-on looking inside of what Ruby AI can do for you. Please go over to http colon forward slash forward slash AI with Lillian, L-I-L-L-I-A-N dot com or go over to https colon forward slash forward slash Jeannie White dot try Ruby dot com. If you're interested in signing up, there are four levels, 25, 35, 55, and 100. Each one comes with credit and with word usage. It's an investment. It's a no-brainer. It's innovative. But the best thing about it is once you're in Ruby.ai, you don't need to go any place else. Interested in talking more, receiving a two-minute video of explanation? Text me at 484-364-1032 or send me an email at pwrnetworkllc at gmail.com. Thank you very much for joining me today. And remember, Ruby AI is the answer and the question.